Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today's tutorial is going to be about some changes that Cricut has made to Design Space. It is January of 2019, and they have moved where some of the features are that we use for uh, our images and for uh, using print and cut. So the first time you log in after they've made these changes, you will notice that when you go to a new project it's going to pop up a little black box up here that's going to walk you through the changes this is a little tutorial box that Cricut has created for us isn't that nice um, we're going to go through the tutorial real quick together and I'm going to point out things along the way for you to notice and then I'm going to show you in depth more about these features because there's some things that are not part of the tutorial that you need to know so let's get started so I'm going to click on the little box that says show me you were in Design Space before, and you may get this uh, orange message box that pops up and says a project already exists on the canvas with unsaved changes. Do you want to switch to the previous project? Do you want to replace it? I'm going to replace it. Okay, and then your tutorial is going to start. So it says same features, new location. From now on, you'll change the line type, which the line type is going to be where it says cut, draw, or score and how to fill an object in from the edit toolbar. So we're gonna say, let's get started. And in your layer, where your layers panel area is here on the right, there is now you're gonna notice that they have a circle on the mat and they have made it so that it is a draw circle. So this is where you would use your Cricut pins to actually draw the image, okay? And Instead of it being that little uh, pencil icon before that we had in Design Space, it now just says the words. It'll say draw, cut, or print. Okay. It says for us to click that, then it's going to point you back over here to this top menu bar. The top menu bar, Cricut is calling it the Edit Toolbar. And underneath, there's two new features up here. One says Line Type and the other one says Fill. We're going to talk about both. Line Type is going to be where it you change whether it's cut draw or score okay so that is in line type so it's the tutorials directing us to say cut so you look over here in the layers panel it changed from a draw file to a cut file okay now it says the word cut instead of the little scissor icons easy enough right now we're going to say okay let's go now the next little prompt in the tutorial is now switching us to the fill box okay now the fill box if you're just going to put an image on your mat and cut it out you're just going to have no fill it's going to do whatever it is that that image came in at this just comes in as a black circle so that's what it would do but if you click that little circle where it says no fill then you get the option to change it to print and cut okay so that's what it's going to be if you notice in the layers panel it says cut but once you click print it's going to now say cut slash print so that makes it a print and cut file and then in the tutorial it's telling you that if you click the little swatch which is that little black box next to it you can then change the color of that as a print and cut file or it's directing us to hit the down arrow and pick the pattern okay so then this is where you're going to get the patterns now there's a lot of patterns in design space and if you are a Cricut access subscriber Cricut is going to give you access to a whole bunch of them for free which is really cool and if not it would call it would charge you if you want to use a pattern okay the other thing is you can upload your own digital patterns to design space you would do that in the upload and there I have a separate tutorial that shows you all of that that feature has not changed it's still the same way we were doing it before just the location of where you find all this has changed and it, there's a few other things now it's telling us right now in the tutorial to click the first pattern which is that little candy stripe and it has changed it to the candy stripe if you look in the layers panel it says cut and print and it is changed there all right so that is the end of the tutorial that Cricut put out but there's some other things you guys need to know about this so that's what I'm going to show you next okay so I'm going to go into shapes and I'm going to pick circle and we're going to look at the cut line cut types okay so it is now set to cut so if you send this to the mat in fact let's just do that real quick okay when we send it to the mat whatever material you're going to put on your mat it's just going to cut that circle okay simple enough right now 
we're going to change it to the line type. We're going to change it to draw. Okay, and now it's a drawing circle. But let's say you want to color coordinate because you want to have, you want it to draw multiple circles on your project. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to put two on here. The first one, I'm going to highlight the first one. And now up here for the drawing line, you're going to be able to pick which type of pen. If you download, if you click that down arrow, if you're using the fine point pen, you're using an extra fine point, a gel pen, the glitter pen, the marker, the calligraphy pen, etc., etc., you're going to be able to pick which kind. So let's say I want to use the glitter gel pen. Then it's actually even going to give me the glitter gel pen colors that are available from Cricut, and I'm going to say pink. So I want that one to be pink. I'll just leave it black. Okay. So when I go to make it, it's going to put these on my on my mat and it will then prompt me when I click continue it's going to prompt me to load the correct color of pen into my uh, Cricut Explore Cricut Maker machines okay so that's simple enough but that's how you would change a color in where they change the new setup okay so we're just going to click on that we're going to go back to our first circle and in the line type now I want to change it to a score line Okay, now it's just those dash lines, okay, and that means that it's going to prompt you when you go to make it, it's going to prompt you to put in the scoring stylus or the scoring wheel, depending upon which machine you have. I just wanted to show you that that's how you would change your line types, okay. So we're going to go back to cut, and now we're going to go in, and I want to put, I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to in insert actually a couple of shapes. I'm just grabbing a couple. Don't worry that it's Halloween. I know it's not Halloween right now. <laughs> but these were just on here and they were easy to grab. Okay. So now I have these witch's shoes. Okay. And if for some reason I wanted to know what image set that those witch's shoes came from, how would I find that? Because before when you, when you clicked on... The layers panel it popped up a little box here and up at the top you could change it to to let you know what the image set was crickets changed that so now what you need to do is you're going to highlight that area that in your layers panel but you're going to right click with your mouse and then this other box is going to pop up dialog box will pop up and at the very bottom it says image information when you touch image information it's going to pop up and it'll tell you the name of the image it will give you the image number that Cricut has assigned it in design space because sometimes you need to know that and then it also says view cartridge so that's going to let you know where did it come from so it's going to pop up and this one came from creepy critters sometimes you want to know that because maybe you're working with an image and you like I really like the look of this image I want to add something else to my project that is similar in the style and then this way you can go into that same cartridge and maybe find another image that you could use on your project so that's where that comes helpful okay now we're going to take that same which is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to come up here into my I leave it on cut but now I want to change it to print so I'm going to kick, click on the fill I'm going to go to print I'm going to click the little color swatch okay so if you look over here in the layers panel let me just turn him off for right now in the layers panel you'll see that it says cut and print. If I went to do this, it's going to make it a print and cut file, and it's going to cut this, print it, and then I could cut it out with my Cricut. Okay, easy enough. Now, what I want to do, though, is I want to make this a pattern, and we're going to play with the pattern. Okay, so I'm going to click pattern, and then the pattern box pops up. Okay, now I don't know about you, but I think this pattern box is a little bit too small for my old eyes. And so how would you make this pattern box bigger? Even if you change the zoom on the Cricut Design Space mat, that box does not get that much bigger. So even if I increase, increase this a little bit, the box doesn't get that much bigger. But I can go into my browser window and I can change my browser zoom and eventually this box gets big enough where I can easily see the patterns, okay? So that's one thing. Now, I wanna filter my pattern. So you'll see here where it says filter. 
and I can click so it only shows me my patterns. I have a lot uploaded, so I'm not going to do that. But my patterns would be anything that you personally uploaded as a digital image print or any anything that's included in your Cricut Access subscription or on any of the image sets that you own. OK, so I could do that, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. What I want to do is you, I could pick a certain color and it's going to pop that up. I'm going to pick multicolor. And now I have all of these really cool multicolored images. These are digital image sets that are in design space. OK, so you can scroll through and find something that you would want to use. Okay, depending upon what your image is that you are trying to work with. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to go ahead and change my zoom on my browser because I want you guys to be able to see this easily. Okay, now. This is what it looks like when it applied that print. But let's go back in. I'm just clicking where the little swatch is. And I want to go into Edit Pattern. So I'm going to click Pattern, Edit Pattern. And now I have a whole bunch of stuff I can do. So I can scale this pattern. So look at what it looks like now. And then if I move this over to the right, it's going to make that pattern bigger. And it'll take a second for it to adjust. But you can see that pattern actually changing, right? OK, so that's really cool. You can, depending upon the pattern that you pick, you can flip it, you can move it uh, horizontal or vertical, depending upon what you're using. The main thing that I like to see is that sometimes I've got the pattern to a point where, um, let's see. All right, so notice, let me move this. All right, notice right now that we've got this pink band here on the shoes, all right? And now I'm going to come down here to flip, and I want to just flip vertically. And now the pink has popped to the top, and the color that was at the top is now here towards the bottom, okay? So you can flip, your, flip that around if you want to. Um, and then you can use the horizontal, you can use rotate. Um, let's see if I pick, if I pick a pattern for my circle, that'll make it a little easier to see. I'm going to go into pattern. And I'm going to click filter and I'm going to click purple. And it's going to bring up anything that's purple in the patterns, okay, that you have access to. So I'm going to just pick this one. And now it's going to change that to on my circle. Okay, so now it's that. But let's say I now want to I want to edit, and I want to wrote I want to move this out. I'm going to make the scale of that pattern bigger. Then I want to rotate it. So notice that that yellow flower is down here towards the right hand bottom, but for some reason I need it to be in a different spot. So I'm going to either use my arrow keys and see how it's slightly, it's slight, it'll take a second for it to catch up, but it's going to rotate your pattern on your image. So let's say I wanted, I needed that yellow to be on the, on the middle of the right hand side. I could just keep hitting rotate until it gets to that position that I want it. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And then let's say I want that yellow to be on the other side, then I could flip it. I'm going to move that back and I can change it. Okay, so that's how you can really manipulate it and use it when you're working with the patterns in Design Space. Okay, so We've got these, we've got our little witch thing here, and now I want to go back to looking at, let's see, I'm just going to turn this off. Okay, and that, all right, so we're not going to use that layer. Okay, so here is our little spider image, okay? Now, if I went, now this is just an image in Design Space that I uploaded, okay? Now, I can highlight this, just like we used to, and down in the layers panel, I can still flatten it, and it's going to flatten the whole thing. 
and it will make the whole thing a print and cut file. Okay, so if I go to make it, it's going to it's going to print the whole image out, and then you would print it and cut it in your maker in your Cricut machine. Okay, now if I clicked if I had this and I was going to make it it would actually be cutting each of the different layers of it. So it was black, purple, and yellow, right, the image. So it would cut these three mats out for me. But I want to change the, the um, hat. I want to change the hat to being a print and cut, just the hat. So how would I do that? I would go over here to where it says cut next to the hat and I'm going to click just on that, okay? Now it's highlighted the hat, but not the, the buckle or the little purple piece. It's only highlighted the hat, okay? So then I can come in here to fill, click print. I'm gonna go in and I wanna pick um, a pattern. And I'm going to go into filter and I want to pick orange patterns. And I can scroll through and find an orange pattern that I like. I'm going to pick this one. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. Okay, so now it has changed that just the hat to now it says cut and print. Okay, so now when I go to make it, it's only going to do the print and cut for the hat with the trick or treat on it. And then the rest of the file, see it says print and cut, the rest of it's going to be a cut file. Okay, so it would cut out the black body, it would cut out the purple body, and it would cut out the little yellow, um, you know, buckle for there. Okay, so those are some features that you need to know about and how all this works in the new design space locations. And if you have any questions, let me know, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any future tutorials. Also click that little bell icon so you get the notification. And I hope you guys uh, start using this feature a lot in design space. Working with the patterns is really fun. And I will talk to you guys later. Come join us in the Let's Learn Cricut Design Space and the Cricut Maker with Debbie O'Neill Facebook groups.